What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Train, as usual. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. And as you can see, we got my guy Chris on the screen. Chris, what's good with you, baby? How's everything, man? What's good with you, baby? How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Can't complain, can't complain. Listen, let's get right on into it. As y'all can see, we're going to talk about the WNBA today. Uh, it, it's not just because I'm wearing this sweatshirt. I actually like this sweatshirt, but there's a lot of things that's been going on in the WNBA. So I think it's fair to start it off with the Eastern Conference. So you, or, or, or did you want to start off with the West particularly? We can do the East. We can do the East. All right, let's go ahead and do the East right fast. But it's a two-parter, though. Okay, so we'll start off with the Eastern Conference, and we'll talk about our X factors per team. And then after that, we'll go to the Western Conference, and we'll talk about, well, the worst players on their teams. Not playing. We're just going to talk about the. So let's move on to the New York Liberty, right? Let's move on to New York Liberty, who ironically, I guess I said one time, oh, I guess she's cute, ain't she? We got here, you know what I'm saying, the Sabrina Ionescu, uh, and that's who I said. It was like a couple years ago. So I just want to make sure there was a tie to show that you're not the only person who's talking about the WNBA players are cute. There's a lot of WNBA players that are cute out there, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to throw that out there. Um, But they can also get a bucket too, though. So who's your X factor for this Liberty team? And you probably going to look at me crazy. I literally would say the head coach. The head coach is the X factor to me because – you went all in, all in to get bounced out in the in the WNBA finals. I mean, that's the finals, though. It's I mean, like that. You say bounced out like that's like it's the first round of the play. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, bounced out in is it, crazy. They like they did win a game. They could have won two. They could have. They could have won it all. But like they went to the finals. They went up against an experienced team. They lost. They should have won, in my estimation, but they lost. I mean, but like to say bounced out is kind of crazy. That's all I'm saying. But no, like my ex right there is the head coach. This is your second year of the quote unquote big three. How can she how put this work? <clears throat> what do you like they got over? Like, what do you need to see from this Liberty team to say that the coach? I guess, like, like they, like they went to the, they went to the finals last year, bro. They did. They did. So, like, you're saying the X factor, I guess. Like, I, I didn't think coaching necessarily was the problem. No, I thought it was more no, so no, no, no. personnel. No, 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 no. That's what I was going to say. Is is it was nothing wrong against the head coach at all whatsoever. Is the personnel and how she uses different different lineups and like clubs and in like time and moments. This is her second year with this big three. If she can make the the right adjustments and let and let and let Stewie and Sabrina just be them. I truly think, and health is a problem. I truly think the Liberty can dethrone the dethrone the Aces. I feel like they had. I I I, I'm gonna just say this because like I feel like it's. I feel like they were able to do that last year. My thing is, I said this last year. John Quell is their X factor. Because if she's able to dominate now, you have Stewie and John Quell dominating with Sabrina. And that's a solid trio, which is what they were supposed to have. Courtney. They have Courtney, yeah. But like okay. I, I, I I'd rather have Courtney come off the bench personally. And I said that last year too. Starting, by the way, like at the beginning of the season, I thought Courtney Van Sue was gonna come off the bench. But that's just me. Or or worst case scenario, you close with um uh, marine joannis because marine was actually was actually pretty smooth mm-hmm. and i'm actually i want to make her my x factor halfway but i gotta say john quell jones bro i gotta say john quell because again if john quell the former mvp of the league can come in and dominate i personally think she's a better three-point shooter than asia wilson i think she can dominate the game Better, or at least she can be more dominant than Asia Wilson. Six six, as strong like that, and you got the touch. It she gives me Joel and B vibes. So if we can do that, I think she could actually eclipse Brianna Stewart 
as the best player on that team. I'm still going to say as Grant as as the best player on on the at Liberty. You have Sabrina as the best player on the Liberty over Stewie. That's crazy. All right, I mean that's another discussion for another day because I feel like we're gonna get a little long winded on that one. But I feel like we did have to cover the Liberty a little bit more than the other teams, respectfully, just because again they went to the finals. Um, even though he wanted, you know, try to act like what they what they did won't what was was cute, you know what I'm saying? Talking about some they got bounced out, and like what? Okay, I don't, no, don't even don't even respond because by the time you respond, then I'm gonna have to respond, and we're gonna be stuck, and we're not even gonna talk about the hometown team, which is the Washington Mystics, ladies and gentlemen. So we got here. All right, first and foremost, Dag, this one's kind of tough because I ain't gonna lie, my. I'm going to say my X factor ain't even on the squad right now because it, w- it would be Elena Deladon. Cause, but, I mean, that's all we got right now, ladies and gentlemen, in terms of the WNBA. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Uh, we will be coming back with more, well, sports content. You know what I'm saying? We talk about NBA, WNBA, NFL, trying to get more into MLB. I was told, actually, Chris, not to bet on, ma- on baseball. So I was like, Dag, how am I going to be studying it? As hard as I want to, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of tough. But we're going to be trying to cover all sports. Hell, water polo if we got it, you know what I'm saying? But please, uh, well, actually, did you have anything you want to say before you close up shop? Thank you, bro. Appreciate you as always, babe. Appreciate you as always. And we'll be coming consistently on – we'll be doing this consistently. So, you know, please make sure you like, subscribe, comment, tell anybody who's anybody about the show. My name is Trey. I'm the host of Get a Bucket. This is my guy, Chris. Hope you all have a good one. Take care. You guys were still here. As, as, as you can see, we're at the back end of the show. No pun intended, but look, hope you all enjoyed it. And before you go, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the IG account, share the content to anybody who's anybody. And most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below. But I got to go back and play Buddy in 2K, so let me unmute him real quick. Excuse me. Hey, boss, I'm back. Nah, you better catch this word. You know we get buckets around here, Tip.